Good morning. Welcome back to my Learn with Tom Lee tutorials. We continue the advanced level mathematics of differentiation. In today's section, we go to 9.8 in species differentiation. That means we differentiate the implicit equation with the function of x and the y mixed together. In some case, some of the equations are difficult to rearrange into the forms of y equal to fx or x equal to fy. So you can sometimes differentiate this equation in specific without rearranging them. In general, from the chance rule, for example, if you differentiate a function of y, d function of y by dx is equal to the y dash multiplied by dy by dx. The following two specified results are useful for in specific differentiation. If we have y to the power of n and we differentiate it, we got n y to the n minus 1 multiplied by dy by dx. And we have the function x and y, we differentiate it, we got x dy by dx plus y. Let's see an example. Find the dy by dx in terms of x and y, where x cubed plus x plus y cubed plus 3y equal to 6. So it is very difficult to rearrange this into y equal to fx or x equal to fy. We can directly implicitly differentiate it. And when we differentiate this, x cubed is equal to 3x squared, and x is equal to 1. And the differences of y script is equal to 3y squared dy by dx. And 3y is equal to 3 dy by dx. Differences of 6 is equal to 0. So we get the differentiation of it is equal to this. And we take all the terms of dy by dx to the left hand side. We got dy by dx multiplied by 3y squared plus 3 equal to minus 3x squared, because this 3x squared go to the right hand side is minus 3x squared, and the 1 go to the right hand side is minus 1. So dy by dx is equal to minus 3x squared plus 1 over 3 multiplied by 1 plus y squared. This is the result we get from the implicit differentiation of the equation above. For example, 2, given that 4xy squared plus 6x squared over y equal to 10, and we differentiate it, the differentiation dy by dx as the point x equal to 1 and y equal to 1. First of all, we differentiate this equation we got here. 4xy squared differentiate it to 4x multiplied by 2y dy by dx plus 4y squared, the differences of this get this equation here. And the differences of 6x squared, we get the differentiation of this bracket here. So we substitute x equal to 1 and y equal to 1. That means this point substitute into this equation. And we get 8 dy by dx plus 4 plus 12 minus 6 dy by dx equal to 0. After the calculation, we get dy by dx at the point 1, 1 is equal to minus 8. Example 3, find the values of dy by dx as the point 1, 1, where e to the power 2x log y equal to x plus y minus 2. We differentiate the first term here, we get this one. Differentiate x, we got 1, and differentiate y, we got dy by dx. Difference is minus 2, we got 0. So we got this equation and substitute x equal to 1, y equal to 1 into this equation here. We got e to the power 2 multiplied by dy by dx equal to 1 plus dy by dx. And after a calculation, we got dy by dx equal to 1 over e to the power 2 minus 1. So after these three examples, we go to the exercise number 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and the number 10 challenge question. As usual, I have put all the answer after each question, so you can check the answer after you have finished the exercise. Let's go for the exercise. Question number 4, by writing u equal to y to the power n, and using the change rule, show that d 
y to the power n by dx equal to n y n minus 1 multiplied by dy by dx. So if u is equal to y to the power n, du by dx is equal to dy to the power n by dx, and by the chance rule is equal to du by dy multiplied by dy by dx. And du by dy is equal to n y m minus 1. So we substitute n y m minus 1 into du by dy. We got n y m minus 1 multiplied by dy by dx. And we prove the differentiation of y to the power n is equal to n y to the power n minus 1 multiplied by dy by dx. Question number 5. Use the product rule to show that dxy by dx equal to x dy by dx plus y. And we let u equal to x and v equal to y. du by dx is equal to 1 and dv by dx is equal to dy by dx. And by the product rule, duv by dx is equal to u dv by dx plus v d u by dx. And u is equal to x, dv by dx is equal to dy by dx plus v is equal to y and du by dx equal to 1. So we prove that the differentiation of dxy by dx is equal to x dy by dx plus y. Question number 6. Find an expression in terms of x and y for dy by dx given that x squared plus y squared equal 2 and we differentiate it, we got 2x plus 3y squared dy by dx equal to 0. And we have 3y squared dy by dx is equal to minus 2x. So dy by dx is equal to minus 2x over 3y squared. And the b part, if we have x squared plus 5y squared equal 14, so the differentiation of this is equal to 2x plus 5 multiplied by 2y dy by dx equal to 0. So it's 2x plus 10y dy by dx equal to 0. So dy by dx is equal to minus 2x over 10y. So it's equal to minus 1 fifth multiplied by x over y. So this is the answer for these three questions. Question 7. Find the coordinates of the point of zero gradient. Zero gradient means the dy by dx is equal to zero. On the curve with the inspection equation, x squared plus 4y squared minus 6x minus 16y plus 21 equal to 0. And if we differentiate it in specially, we have 2x plus 8y dy by dx minus 6 minus 16 dy by dx plus 0 equal 0. So we take in terms of dy by dx, we have 8y minus 16 dy by dx is equal to 6 minus 2x. And we take everything to the right hand side except dy by dx. We have 6 minus 2x over 8y minus 16. And if dy by dx is equal to 0, this means 6 minus 2x over 8y minus 16 equal to 0.
it means that 6 minus 2x is equal to 0, and x is equal to 3. And we substitute x is equal to 3 into this equation here. We got 3 squared plus 4y squared minus 6, 3 minus 16y plus 21 equal to 0. So we got 4y squared minus 16y plus 12 equal to 0. And we factorize, we have y minus 3, y minus 1 equal to 0. So y is equal to 3, or y is equal to 1. So the coordinate, which makes the gradient to be 0, so the point of the coordinate is equal to 3, 1, and 3, 3. The two points can make the gradient dy by dx into 0. Question number 8. A curve C has equation 3 to the power x equal to y minus 2xy. Find the exact value of dy by dx as the point on C with the coordinate 2 and minus 3. So we have this one to differentiate into here, we got log 3, 3 to the power x is equal to dy by dx minus 2x dy by dx plus 2y. And we take everything of dy by dx to the left hand side. So we have 1 minus 2x dy by dx equal to log 3, 3 to the power x plus 2y. So we have dy by dx is equal to log 3, 3 to the power x plus 2y over 1 minus 2x. And if we substitute the point 2 and minus 3 into this dy by dx, we have dy by dx equal to log 3, 3 to the power 2 plus 2 multiplied by minus 3 and over 1 minus 2 multiplied by 2. So we have, this one is 9 here, so 9 log 3 minus 6 over minus 3. And we cancel out the minus 3. We get minus 3 log 3 plus 2. So this is the exact values of dy by dx when the point is 2 and minus 3. Number 9. Find the gradient of the curve with equation log y squared equal to half x log x minus 1 when x greater than 1 and y greater than 0. As the point on the curve where x equal to 4, give your answer as an exact value. So we rearrange this equation here. We got 2 log y equal to half x log x minus 1. So log y is equal to 1 over 4 x log x minus 1. And we differentiate this one. We got 1 over y dy by dx equal to 1 over 4 x multiplied by 1 over x minus 1 plus log x minus 1 here. So dy by dx is equal to 1 over 4y multiplied by x 1 over x minus 1 plus log x minus 1. So when the point x is equal to 4, so what is the values of y? So we substitute x equal to 4 into this equation here. So we got log y equal to 1 over 4 multiplied by 4 log 4 minus 1. 
So log y is equal to this one cancel out log three. So y is equal to three when x is equal to four. We substitute x equal to four and y equal to three into the dy by dx equation. So we have dy by dx is equal to four plus three log three over four type three. And we have three multiplied by four plus three log three and this one is 12. So we cancel out this one. So we got 4 plus 3 log 3 over 4. This is the values of dy by dx when x equal to 4 and y equal to 3. Question 10 is a challenge question. The curve C has inverse equation 6x plus y squared plus 2xy equal to x squared. We have to show that there are no points on the curve such that dy by dx is equal to 0. That means we have to show it never be dy by dx is equal to 0. So we differentiate this equation especially. We got 6 plus 2y dy by dx plus 2x dy by dx plus 2y equal to 2x and we take everything of dy by dx into the left hand side we got 2y plus 2x multiplied by dy by dx equal to 2x minus 2y minus 6 so dy by dx is equal to 2x minus 2y minus 6 over 2y plus 2x and this is equal to x minus y minus 3 over y plus x. This is the dy by dx. And if this one is equal to 0, that means x minus y minus 3 equal to 0. And y is equal to x minus 3. If we substitute y equal to x minus 3, into the original equation here, we got 6x plus x minus 3 to the square plus 2x multiplied by x minus 3 equal to x square. And we got is that 5x square minus 6x plus 9 minus x square equal to 0. So it's 2x square minus 6x plus 9 equal to zero and we try to solve this quadratic equation we get the discriminants equal to b squared minus 4ac with this one is a this one is b and this one is c so the discriminant is equal to minus 6 to the power of 2 minus 4 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 9 and equal to minus 36 so the discriminant is equal to negative. It means we cannot take the square root of this one, have a real number. So it means that since the discriminant is negative, so there is no real solution to the equation. And thus it means the dy by dx is never happened. And we prove that there are no points on the curve such that the dy by dx is equal to zero. We go to part B of question 10. Find the coordinates of two points on C such that the dx by dy is equal to zero. So dx by dy is the inverse of dy by dx. So it's equal to y plus x over x minus y minus 3 and if x is equal to 0 this means y plus x equal to 0 and y is equal to minus x we substitute into the original equation we have 6x 
plus minus x to the square plus 2x minus x equal to 0. And we get 6x minus 2x squared equal to 0. So we got 2x, 3 minus x equal to 0. That means x equal to 0 or x equal to 3. We substitute x equal to 0 and x equal to 3 into the original equation. If x equal to 0, y squared is equal to 0. So y is equal to 0. We got the point 0 and 0. And if we have x equal to 3, so substitute into the original equation, 6 multiplied by 3 plus y squared plus 6y equal to 9, and we got y squared plus 6y plus 9 equal to 0. Factorize, we got y plus 3 squared equal to 0, y is equal to minus 3, so we got another point, x equal to 3, y equal to minus 3. So when the dy by dx equal to 0, we have two points on the curve, suit for this, and this two point is 0, 0, and 3, minus 3. Okay, if you think this video is good and can help you, please subscribe and give like. So you press the button at the lower right corner to subscribe. And remember, when I have a new videos, you better click the bell shelf and see the new video. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Again, thank you very much for listening to my tutorial videos. And if you need a pilot tutor for you to get a better mark or better score in your DSC examination in Hong Kong, the SAT examination, or just you want to improve your mathematics and English for your college and university study, please contact me at chingtom929 at yahoo.com.hk. My telephone number is plus one. 8526592 好多谢大家收听我呢个 video。如果你系希望你个 mathematics 同埋你个英文系更加好嘅话咧，你想要一个 private tutor 啦，你可以随时 contact 我嘅，令到你个 DSC exam 啦，或者你想考 SAT 啦，你亦都可以 contact 我，因为我都有一啲私人嘅补习喺呢一两方面嘅。多谢大家 ，thank you， 拜拜 ，muchas gracias。